As far as the uh, Bengals and the Browns, uh, we started by uh, the first games uh, at 6,000 people. Um, I don't know the exact capacity, but you know we're over 50,000. Uh, I think in both both uh, uh, places, and uh, we kind of looked at that. We talked to the local health departments. We talked to local officials uh, to see what impact that had. Uh, it looked like uh, it, it was it was safe. Uh, they really didn't have any incidents, um, so we were, thought we could take it up to 12. This would give more football fans uh, in Ohio. Uh, the opportunity to go, but also do it in in a safe way. Uh, and I think we're probably at where we're going to stop. Uh, and I made it very clear to the ownership of the Browns and the Bengals that, uh, you know, this is a game by game, but we don't see any reason uh, that it couldn't continue at, at, at 12,000 uh, people. That would seem to be a reasonable thing. Uh, we have our overall guidelines. Uh, we look at each case uh, just as we did with, with high school football. We had variances, and we gave, gave some variances there. So we're trying to provide the broad guidelines in the big, uh, big events. You know, again, we try to uh, you know, measure everything to make sure that it is, in fact, uh, safe. And we also look at, frankly, the, you know, the impact on uh, what's going on downtown and other things. 